Okay, we're doing this. I um, have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> there's voltage, there's the logo. <laughs> um, if you don't know, back in the early 2010s, actually, let's just uh, experience this. I don't have time to explain. We are playing, what is going on? Wait, what? Who sent this? What? <laughs> World th famous thieves, I can't, I don't have time. I don't have time to, to explain or to take any of this in, so you know just as much as I do. I'm not like looking at these people right now because I'm overwhelmed. It's going too fast. Give me some time to, to, to process this. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? And that's the thing here with this shit. We're playing Love Letter from Thief X, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I never in my wildest dreams thought that these would be on the Switch, honestly. So, Voltage, shout out to my boy Voltage, made a whole bunch of really fucking insane otome games that i don't know if they were popular but i stumbled across them in like the early 2010s when i was depressed and didn't know what i was doing with my life and i would just like play them at night on my fucking old shitty android and they were like mobile games right and they were like this and i don't remember the ones i played i know i didn't i don't think i played this shit but um they're so unhinged you guys i don't know what we're about to witness like i want to apologize in advance if there's anything bad <laughs> in these games like somebody on twitter was telling me that they got bought in one of the games bought purchased like i think it's supposed to be cute <laughs> and then the guy wanted them to be like their pet or something you know what i mean you know, it's just weird shit, but I think that these guys look pretty, like, they look nice. You know, I don't think that they're gonna do that kind of thing. They are thieves, though. So, however, I will say that I picked this one because, A, it just feels like it's a weird, wacky situation. <laughs> and I love the title so much. Love Letter from Thief X. Like, that's just calling to me. Um, I love the thief thing. I love that they're all in black. There's some earrings happening, lots of earrings happening. Just an emo vibe for me, which I, which spoke to me. But also, I have a, a level of respect for thieves, you know? Not thieves that steal other people's stuff. Please don't steal from other people, ever. Don't steal from people, don't steal from small businesses, but people who steal from, like, capitalism. That's something that I have a very deep level of respect for. Just kidding, I'm not allowed to say that on YouTube, am I? <laughs> don't steal ever unless it's from Target. Just kidding. Don't steal from Target. And if you do, don't get caught. <sighs> I'm going to stop outing myself now. But no, you know, like as a, as a kid who grew up poor and wanted to um, have clothes and little trinkets in high school, I have my, I have a special place in my heart for a skilled thief. Um, again, don't steal from people or small businesses, but capitalism, corporations, hell yeah. I think these men are stealing from a museum. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Is he stealing a painting from a museum? Because I don't know if I'm cool with that. <laughs> I don't know. Then again, see, I'm talking too much in the beginning. I just felt like I really had to explain myself, honestly. And I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't explain myself at all. Instead, I'm like admitting to you that I'm like a world-renowned, like international thief. Just kidding. This is just a joke ever heard of it, Susan, from YouTube. However, I was just thinking, if you guys are stealing from museums, let's steal stuff and bring it back to the countries that it was originally stolen from. Because it's honestly not even stealing, it's just like getting it back. One of my hyper fixations actually is how museums in the West are full of stolen artifacts the colonization of museums and stuff that I just am always like what's the status on like the fucking British Museum like are y'all giving those back like with my new like international thief husband like like we really could break into all these museums and steal stuff to, to do good to do good with it because these are not good they're not gonna be bad guys right you never know with these games <laughs> that's the thing like I hope that they have a reason for what they're doing but I don't I can't really promise you that they will <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> let's just get started because I think it's just important that I s shut the fuck up, actually. My name is Amanda. This is all about me. I'm going to find a husband today. Another thing that I hate about these games, you know, obviously as a bi queen, you know, they're a little hetero. I am good with like hot dudes, as you know, but I would love to have some hot ladies to, to choose from also. What, did I put my last name? Why would I do that? Wait. 
wait, it asked for my last name. Come on. All right, okay, well, my last name is Sargent. That's kind of dumb, right? I thought I was on autopilot mode and I typed in Amanda Sargent on like, what's your name? They really did ask for my last name. Okay, I guess. Are they, are they gonna call me Amanda Sargent the whole time? Can you just call, just call me Amanda? if you could. All right, with that being said, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna shut the fuck up and start. Amanda, Amanda, someone's calling my name. Who is it? It's a familiar voice, a voice I know. Amanda, it's me. Gramps? Oh, every good game starts with your grandpa talking, talking to you. It's my great grandfather who died when I was five years old. Oh my God, a ghost. I finally get to see a ghost. What is he trying to tell me? Amanda, what? I can't hear you. Was I t having a dream? A dream. <laughs> yep, genius. I don't remember ever dreaming about Gramps before. And the dream felt so real. Oh no, it's seven o'clock. Gotta get ready for work. I opened my jewelry box, a morning sun glinting off my ring. Girl, whose ring? This ring is a memento for my great-grandfather. Maybe I'll wear it today. I wonder how many years it's been since I last wore it. Is this my house? Am I rich? I must be rich. Ew, there sure was a lot of visitors today. <gasps> I work at a, I work at the museum. I think I work at the museum. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> I think I'm the curator of the museum. Yeah, I am such a boss bitch, damn. After closing time at the museum, I gaze at a display case. This 11th century solid gold tiara was just put on display today. It's a really beautiful tiara. <laughs> I'm such an expert on artifacts. Bzz, the alarm is buzzing. Oh, the boys are here. <laughs> the boys are here. Did someone break in? I need to call the police. Amanda, don't do that. No, don't do that. No. I start to run when suddenly, oh, damn. Oh, fuck. The guy on the left. Oh, shit. He's got a leather jacket on. Oh, he's got black hair. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. I'm not even looking at the other guy. I am. I'm going to be honest. My friend, my friend on the right, I didn't even see you standing there. You can go ahead and steal whatever you want. This is a great diversion tactic if you're using that. Holy shit. Sorry. I already know who I'm choosing. I'm sorry, but I do. Damn. So d damn. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? What brings you to the museum today? <laughs> do you want to learn more about the tiara? Do you want me to open any of the cases for you? You want me to watch out for the cops? <laughs> Two guys dressed in black holding a painting? Wh who are you? Oh, there's still somebody working. Let's get out of here. Hey, hey, wait, stop, you thieves. I would never say that. Just when I start to chase after them, crash, ow. I bump right into a display case. Wobble, wobble, oh fuck, this thing's going down. A huge bronze statue falls towards me. <gasps> He saved me. He saved my life, Ricky. His name's Ricky. He saved my life. Ricky saved my life. Watch out. One of the thieves grabs the statue and protects me. <laughs> he did protect me, you guys. Yes, one of the thieves protects me. Ugh, this is heavy. What is it? A bronze statue from the... Bring that back, Amanda. That's stolen, probably. A bronze statue from the Makande tribe of Africa. Did they give you permission to have it? Just wondering. Makande tribe? The light is so bright, I can't see the thief's face. I can see it as bright as day. I've never seen anything brighter. What's the Makande tribe? He is totally, oh my God, no, he's not. I thought he was trying to distract me, but we really did hit it off. I think we hit it off. I think he was so interested in history. No, 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 I can really give you a tour, honestly. Are you interested? Are you interested in this type of stuff? Cause I am too. Oh my God, we really hit it off. Listen, I love this. Oh, sparks are flying. Ken, Ken, Kenshi, whatever the fuck your name is, get the hell out of here. Get out of here. What did I tell you? Get out of here. I don't want to see you, dude. Oh my God, he's so cute. He really had some questions about the museum display. Oh my God, that's so romantic. Like imagine you're like, mm, sorry, I really should keep the, the story going, but I think this is love at first sight. I haven't even met all the other guys. This is love, you guys. <laughs> Oh my God, Ricky. 
listen, no, because it's so sweet. Like, he came to, like, rob a museum, but, like, little did any of his friends know. Like, he's actually very, very interested in world history and artifacts and stuff. And, like, he saw that bronze statue and he was like, wait, what is this? And, like, he saw this, like, beautiful, like, curator girl and he, like, had to save me. And then he asked him, like, he was like, what, where, where is that? What's the tribe? Like, tell me more. And he's supposed to be, like, robbing me. <laughs> She's the one who freaked out and crashed into a display case. Oh, okay, now you're, okay, yeah. Now you're just like really trying to blame me for what you did. Okay, yeah, two can play at that game, Ricky, don't worry. Well, I'm just glad you're not hurt. And he smiled. I think we're like really in love, like already. I think this really is love at first sight. You guys might not believe it. You guys might not believe in love at first sight. And believe me, I didn't either until this moment. Th thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I mean, give me back that painting. The other thief, don't touch me. <laughs> I don't like this man. The other thief, ugh, pats me on the head. Don't touch me. Sorry we scared ya. <laughs> I could wring your neck. Since you're being so polite, why don't you return the painting? Huh, sorry, can't do that. Hey, you, wait, is he grabbing me? Is he yelling at me? He grabs my wrist. <gasps> is he gonna ask me out? He grabbed my wrist. He's like, I have to see you again. I'm sorry. I hate that we met like this. I'm not this man. <laughs> He's like, I got wrapped up in this. There's no time to explain, but I need to see you again. Something about you. Oh, what? Why do you have this ring? <gasps> Do you know my grandpa or something? What? Or is he asking, maybe he's like, are you married? Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you married? Because I think I really love you. And I'm like, no, 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 me, no. It's my grandfather's, okay? I am the furthest thing from married. I am so single, it's not even funny. Ring, wee, -oo, wee, -oo. okay, the police are coming. It's the black foxes, they're the black foxes. The black foxes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice ring. Thank you. I'm not married just to let you know. It's really, really not even on my, my the right finger or anything. It's like an, on my middle finger. I swear to God, I'm not married. See you later. Can she shut up? I'm not talking to you. I was never talking to you. Oh my God, I met the love of my life today. In the weirdest way. I mean, nobody's gonna believe me. And if they believe me, they're not gonna understand me. You know what I mean? Who the hell is Ranko? Is she available too? Ranko, can I date Ranko? Aren't the black foxes the ring of thieves who supposedly steal for the greater good? See, I knew I loved them. They're all over the TV and the internet lately, but I didn't think the black foxes really existed. Oh, they're all too real. I wonder if the thieves today really were part of the black foxes. Ranko, I like grab her by the wrist. I'm like, Ranko, he was so hot. <laughs> I think we really hit it off. I like explained the whole thing to her. I'm like, listen, because apparently this is this my bestie. This is probably my bestie. She's gorgeous, by the way. I think I have a small crush on her. I grab her and I'm like, listen, I hit it off with one of them. I will not lie to you. And I don't know how to explain this to you without saying that it was love at first sight, okay? Amanda, did you see their faces? Oh boy, did I. I sure did. Oh yeah. I did. Uh, yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying to protect the police asked me that too, but I couldn't see them clearly. I saw them all too. I've never seen anything more clearly. Never. Than Ricky's face. Never. Oh man. I'd have the scoop of the century if you'd seen their faces, Amanda. Ranko is a newspaper reporter, so she really would have the scoop of the century. <laughs> I just love how that's worded. Yeah, this is my best friend, and I'm not going to tell her shit because I need to protect this man. Oh my god, I really am obsessed with him. And I was thinking the same thing. I go, this is like thinking to myself, what did the thief mean when he said, see you later? Like, are we going on a date? Oh, you're all out of pork noodles? Who's this? We just sold the last one. Hmm, hmm, they had someone I ordered. Which means the pork noodles in front of me are the last ones. Ugh, I came here just to eat those pork noodles too. I would never order pork noodles, by the way. Ugh, can we just pretend they're not pork noodles? Can we say they're just noodles, just regular noodles? Does he really want the noodles that badly? Oh my God, I get to make a choice. Give it to him, watch for a little while, ignore him and keep eating. <laughs> No, I hate pork noodles. I, I ordered this by accident. You know what's so funny? I actually didn't even order pork noodles. I'm a vegan, honestly, really, truly. I hate pork, I'm not gonna eat this. I was just gonna like go give it to them and then they'll probably just throw it out. I haven't touched it. Like if I give this to them and tell them it's the wrong thing, they're probably gonna throw it out because that's like standard procedure. But I swear to God, I have not touched it because again, I would never eat this this ever in my life. So you can have this if you want it. Takuto, huh? I don't want that. Huh? But 
Like I'd want somebody else's half-eaten food. Oh my God, it's not half-eaten. I literally just told you, yes, it's, I literally just told you I haven't even touched it. He turns away in a huff. Isn't he being kind of rude? Uh, actually, I would say he's being very rude. Never again. No, I hate this man. I hate that. I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate this man. I'm sorry. He really has a foul mouth. Yes, he really does have a foul mouth. Is this your boyfriend? Get him away from me. Is this his friend? Hmm, what a cute smile. Actually, he, he is very cute. I will, I will not lie. But I just can't stop thinking about Ricky. I'll never stop thinking about Ricky. There is no meat cute that will ever, ever come close to that. I mean, I just can't stop thinking about it. Imagine. You're <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine, you're the curator of a museum and somebody's coming to rob you, but he has a secret passion for history and he saves you from a falling artifact only to ask you questions about its country of origin. <laughs> I just can't, I, I'll never love another. But he is cute, this other guy, he's cute. Hey, two girls and two guys, why don't we eat together? Oh my God, you flirt. I mean, just because I'm in love with Ricky doesn't mean I can't like do a little bit of recreational flirting, as the Libras call it. Sit, up, sit on down, buddy, absolutely. Does his shirt say? <laughs> Sorry, that really caught. Because I know that this was... <laughs> it's late. I think I'm just overreacting. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop, Amanda. Does his shirt say poker face? <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's everything that's hitting me. It's the font. <laughs> the font is is the funniest part. His shirt says poker face. And the font is killing me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. Okay. His shirt says poker face in like this font. It's just so funny. I think it's meta humor. <laughs> okay. Are you a Lady Gaga fan? <laughs> I like your shirt. I like your shirt. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's asking to sit with us. Wow. Sounds good, right? He's peering at me from above. Sure. Oh, Ranko, I love you, bitch. Ranko! Like, that's just part of the act. Ranko knows. She's a Libra too, actually. Thanks. Come on, Takun. Sit down. You're an asshole. You're such an asshole. Takun? Is that his nick? Oh yeah, because it's like Hun. That's like a nickname. It's like a term of endearment, I think. Is that his nickname? The rude boy frowns as he sits down across from me. I'm just going to go, like, I'm going to get up. I'm gonna maintain eye contact with him, get up, maintain eye contact the whole time, and throw the noodles away <laughs> in front of him. That's what I'm gonna do. What's your name? Me? My name is Hero. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> hey, what were you guys talking about just now? I heard black foxes. We were just wondering if they were really, if they really exist. The Ring of Thieves, just like Robin Hood, right? That's right, that's right, I've heard a lot about them. Do you know anything about them? Do you have any information about them? Are you late in them by any chance? Do you know a guy named Ricky? Where's Ricky at? Does he come here too? They don't steal to profit. Instead, they return illegally obtained works. <gasps> oh my God, didn't I say that? I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh my fucking God, I just had to put the controller down. Y'all, what the fuck? Didn't I say that that's my dream, is to return stolen artifacts and works of art to their rightful owners? <gasps> I swear to God this is meant to be. I have never felt like the stars have aligned more than in this moment. Oh my God, oh my God. That's why I heard they steal. It'd be pretty cool if they were real, huh? Not really. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this. No, I didn't say that. Ugh, what a little shit. Yeah, sh no. Not really. I mean, they're criminals who steal people's things. Fuck you, bitch. Shut up. Are you dumb? Yeah, are you dumb? <laughs> I'm talking to myself, my character. Yeah, are you dumb, bitch? Shut your fucking mouth. What? I heard the museum got the painting that was stolen today in, from the mafia in a black market deal. Exactly, bitch. So keep your mouth shut. Yes, I've heard that rumor. Aren't you like the fucking curator, you dumb bitch? I hate myself right now. You're pretty stupid for someone who works in a museum. What's wrong with you calling me stupid? Shut up, stop yelling at everything. Oh my God, what is his deal? He's glaring at me and being so rude. Well, I kind of deserve it, honestly. Yeah, we like are staring at each other and then I get up. <laughs> 
I get up and I take the noodles and I'm maintaining eye contact with him the whole time and I just dump them in the trash. And I look at him and I do like a little nod and a little smirk. We stare at each other in silence. Huh? Wait a minute. I didn't tell them I work at the museum. <gasps> oh God, he was there. He's a black fox. How does he know? Tekken, stop being so mean to her. Yeah, stop being so mean to her. But she's my soulmate. Wait, I'm, wait, I mean, you were so, did he just say that? I'm your soulmate, poker face? Really? He is such a flirt. He reaches both hands out and softly cups them over mine. Hey! Uh, wow, this is a lovely ring. He like smooths like a, like a thumb over it. Ring? His eyes seem like they know everything. <gasps> I love guys like that. I don't get it. Who are these guys? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I am taken by all of them, except for Tak Takun. He's an asshole, but he was so right though when he called me out. I really don't want to be this character. Let's go back and rewrite it and pretend I was like, yeah, you know, you're right. Um, I work for the museum because I'm like very passionate about this stuff, but I will not lie to you. I'm trying to work my way up to change the inner workings of the whole thing. But the higher ups, like they're just like, it's like a good old boys club. And they there are a lot of shady dealings. There's a lot of stolen artifacts, a lot of stolen art. Honestly, I'm just trying to protect it until I can get it back to its rightful owners because I, that's, that's my goal, honestly. I'm like, guys, I'm working from the inside, okay? Oh, I'm exhausted. I met so many strange people today. Oh, I need to go get the mail. Some flyers, a gas bill, coupons. My life is so boring. Hmm, what's this? There's a card in a white envelope. Inside it says, we're coming to get you tonight. <gasps> the black boxes, they're coming to get <gasps> I'm actually freaking out, I don't like this. I mean, honestly, okay, the thing is, I'm really excited, I hope that Reggie will be there. I really wanna see him again, I can't stop thinking about him, but I hate that I'm getting kidnapped, that's so scary. And honestly, it just reminds me from The Sims 1, when you used to get like a prank call and it would say, we're coming tonight. Do you guys remember that? That shit used to fucking rock my world, it used to rock me. I won't get into it because I'll take forever, but I just remember, I I think I was too young to understand that it was a prank call. So I was like, <laughs> they're coming to me, they're coming to get me. <laughs> you know, and you're just like, you're so scared. Cause like, you just didn't know if they, when they were, when they were going to come, but apparently it was a prank call. Oh my God, they're coming to get me the black foxes. <laughs> what is this? I guess it's a popular prank nowadays. How annoying. Yeah, I guess. No, Ricky just could not stop thinking about me. I guess I'll take a shower and go to bed. Yeah, you better do that, girl. Why don't you pack a bag, too, with some cute outfits? I like how my laptop's just, like, open. That's funny. Oh, people are whispering outside my window. I hate this. What was that noise? Suddenly, someone comes from behind and presses a hand against my mouth. If it's Ricky, I'm gonna die. It's not. Oh, it's the worst one. Can she? Get away from me. Shh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Just be quiet. Get the fuck off me. And I like fucking elbow him and I start doing jujitsu and I break his arm. Yes, I bite the person's fingers as hard as I can. I bite one off. I bite one clean off. <laughs> Ow. And the man falls off my bed. Hey, I have teeth marks. You bit me way too hard. Yeah, you're trying to. F <gasps> Never mind. Never mind. You were saying you're pretty violent, huh? There's Hero. Oh my God, Hero. He's gonna make Ricky jealous. There's Ricky, you guys. He looks better than ever. Hey, you're the guy from the bar. I can't believe you bit him. Are you a girl or a dog? That voice. <laughs> One of the criminals from the museum. Be quiet. Anyway, we're not criminals. We're thieves. There's a difference. I'm not saying that. I'm doing the same thing. No. Anyway, why are you in my room? We told you we were coming to get you. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> you just couldn't stop thinking about me, could you? What, that weird card? Oh, it's because I work at the museum, right? You want more of our exhibits. Wrong. We're after this. Hey, my ring. The nice guy from the bar proudly holds up my ring. Hey, give that back. It's a memento from my great grandfather. He was probably a colonizer, girl. I propose a trade. You propose a trade? If you want the ring back, you have to come with us quietly. Get, yes. Oh yeah, 100%, fine. I could, I could never say no to that face. Oh, how obedient. Shut the fuck up, Kenji. Good, now I don't have to use this. What is that in his hand? A gun? Oh my God, does he have a gun? Hero, out of all people, has a fucking gun, dude. He's wearing like a North Face fucking Patagonia zip up jacket with the turtleneck and he's got a gun. What's gonna happen to me? This is actually so scary, by the way. <laughs> like if you ever get kidnapped by like several men at night, that's horrible. Okay, it doesn't matter how hot they are. That's actually very wrong. I'm trying not to romanticize it because it's fucking 
<laughs> the guy from the museum, like, that's wrong. Please don't kidnap people. Especially if you are a guy, especially if you are five grown men and you're kidnapping a, like a woman, just don't do that, please. Thank you. <laughs> the bar from last night. Is this a black fox's hideout? Oh, there he is. Oscar the Grouch. Hey, you're the rude guy from before. Do you uh, dig those noodles out of the trash? Shut up, pork noodle girl. I'm noodle girl. Great. <laughs> pork noodle. What kind of nickname is that? Leave her alone. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry, I just cannot fucking breathe. Leave her alone. Let's just explain everything to her. You shut up too, leader. Dude, he needs to chill out. He's such an asshole. He like hates all of you. Why are you even here? You want to leave? Like you don't have to be here, buddy. I can take your spot. Leader? Wait, Ricky's the leader? Wait, Ricky is the fucking leader? He's the leader of the Black Foxes? Well, if it isn't Amanda, wait, who's this? I hate him already. I just don't like men with chin straps. <laughs> I hate it, actually. I hate it so much. Get away from me. Well, if it isn't Amanda, get away from me. We finally meet after all this time. Oh, this is the boss. Who are you? I'm the boss of the Black Foxes, I guess. For a boss, he doesn't seem too sure of himself. Yeah, I think it's the chin strap. <laughs> what do you want from me? Why did you bring me here? Your ring. My ring? They just said that, Amanda. You got it from your great-grandfather, right? How did you know? Because you just told everybody, Amanda. <laughs> your great-grandfather was a great artist and inventor. That's right. Yeah, that's what I've been told. But he died when I was five years old, so I don't know much about him. Hmm, so you don't know how amazing his creations are. But many of his valuable creations and inventions have fallen into the wrong hands, and we're stealing them back to recover them. <sighs> Thank you. Oh my god. So, I mean, they're rightfully mine, right? His creations and inventions. We can't stand the bad guys profiting from them. I can't either. That's exactly why I joined the museum business. It, this is my goal too. I knew all of that and I've been trying to get my grandfather's things back. So thank you guys. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. You know what? If you've never played one of these games with me, sometimes I have to do some rewrites because I just can't stand to be the person that I'm written as. I need to be my own person. So I'm just doing a little rewrite here. Like this was already my plan, okay? But I don't have the resources or the skills to pull it off. So I just decided to start working for the museum to just like use that as like my starting point to at least like, like learn in the inner workings of the museum. So with that being said, obviously I'm not asking, but what does that have to do with me? Cause he just fucking explained it. So I'm just gonna say, that's exactly what I've been trying to do this whole time. And I think it's amazing. And I can't thank you enough for doing this. I'm in, I'm in. If there's anything I can do to be a part of this, any in intel I can get you, I wanna be a, a black fox. I wanna join, I wanna join the black foxes. And then I like look back at Ricky. I'm like, I have some black clothing. I have some black outfits. I wanna join. He left behind one last masterpiece and we need you to help us get it. And I'm like, I'm in. I don't say me, I'm in, yep. Yes, we've been looking for you for a long time. Well, you know what, you guys? I've been looking for you too. And thanks to that ring, we found you. And I look at my ring and I'm like, thanks grandpa. In that case, I could lend it to you for a while. No, 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 no. See, that this is the rewrite part. Cause he's, oh my God, Ricky, I'm sorry. You're just gorgeous. <laughs> Damn. No, that's not it. The leader grabs my wrist. <laughs> I love him. What we want is your fingerprints. Of course. I kind of assumed, honestly, that that would be the case. Yeah, I'm just freestyling at this point. Yes, we need your fingerprints to find his creation. So you're not after my ring? Dummy, the ring is just a symbol. We need your fingerprints. Anyway, it's time to celebrate because you're about to become a black fox. Oh my God, I'm so happy that this is all I've ever wanted. Genuinely, truly, I've been training my whole life for this, honestly. I really have. I've done some amazing things, but never on this level when it comes to thievery. Honestly, I've been training my whole life for this. This is exactly what I've always been working towards. Yes, everything's coming together. We, I agree, we'd have to, yes. I'm not even reading this shit. I hear you loud and clear. I understand every word. Wait, he's not pointing a gun at me. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh-uh, no. If you won't join, we can't let you get away. Is she gonna kill me? It's too dangerous now that you've seen our faces. He's gonna kill me? Listen, the thing is, this exchange would have never happened because I was I would have, as soon as he said we need to celebrate, you're one of the black foxes now, I would have been jumping up and down and saying, yes. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. Are you threatening me? If you work with us to recover the artifact, you can return to life as normal. We are not even having this conversation. He never threatened me. He never threatened me, ever. <laughs> he never 
did that. That did not happen, okay? This is my video. I'm playing this game the way I want. He did not threaten me. I literally had a dream about my grandfather. It means that Gramps wants me to find the artifact. Obviously, you dumb bitch. Which is literally what I have been working towards all this time. Amanda, they've said it several times. I'm just not even gonna read it. Yeah, you need my fingerprints, I get that. But I don't wanna become a criminal. I, I would never say that. I'm not saying that. It makes me sick, dude. Not criminal, thieves. Regardless, I don't wanna do anything illegal. Yes, I do. We're not committing crimes. We're setting things right. Ricky, you are so... <laughs> speak in my language. I, every word that comes out of his mouth, except for when he threatened to kill me. <laughs> And again, he didn't. Well, Amanda is just a regular girl. No, I'm not. No, I'm literally not. No wonder she gets scared when she hears the word thief. I'm literally not just a regular girl. That's what I'm telling you. I've been training for this my whole life. We won't make you steal anything. Just join us, okay? I have already said yes a million times. Not like we really expect much out of you anyway. Is that a fucking challenge, Takudo? So all I have to do is join you? If she's gonna be a pain in the ass, why don't we just cut off her finger? Are you a serial killer, dude? What are you talking about? I am all too willing to do this. All right, then. Who's going to be Amanda's babysitter? Babysitter? Okay, let's just pretend. So, A, I explained to them that I've been trying to do this. I, have, I don't have a lot of skills necessarily, but I have stolen things from large retail stores a lot in my past. And I've been trying to figure out a way to get my grandfather's masterpiece back. So that's why I started working at the museum to just try to learn the inner working. So I have a lot of intel. But since I'm A, still so inexperienced, and B, they don't know me and they still can't trust me. That's why I need a babysitter, okay? Rewriting this. Yep, we need you, so we don't want anything to happen to you. So someone will be your partner and stay by your side to take care of you. Do I get to pick? All of us are pretty good guys, you know, but there's no telling what could happen to you if you try to get in the way. <laughs> I'm just looking at one, honestly. Do I get to pick? Do I get to pick? Please tell me I get to pick. Hero is really cute too, honestly. And so is Takudo, is that his name? Takudo's cute too, but I am all about you, Ricky. So who's it gonna be? How should I know? Bitch, I know exactly who's who's it's, who's it gonna be. Oh my god, I get to pick. You already know. You already know. Takudo Hero. He's so sweet, but the poker face shirt is just killing me. Is that his like regular outfit? I like the jacket better. Why are you wearing that? What is your job? Yeah, of course it's gonna be Ricky. Oh my god. You think the arrogant, smart, and smooth Ricky lives on a totally different planet from you. But then it turns out that there's more to him than meets the eye. You discover his hidden sweet side and his feelings for you. Oh my god. Yeah, of course. Episode one. Damn, how long is this fucking video gonna be? Holy shit. Hmm, you're picking me, huh? Well, I honestly just um, didn't pick you, actually. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. It's just like, I pick you. Ah, uh, what's the story for this? You know what? I just closed my eyes and picked, actually. Oh, he's studying my face. Well, I'm brilliant and masculine. I can understand why you'd want to pick me. You're funny. You're really funny. Whoa, he's really conceited, but it's actually kind of refreshing. Why'd you pick Ricky? Uh, just because he was the first person I saw. So I figured, you know, might as well. And he saved my life. That's why. I was like, I picked you because you saved my life that one time. So like, you're already proven to like be a decent guy. Whereas I don't know the rest of these guys. That's why you picked him? Kenshi, shut up. Get over it, dude. Cope. I didn't really think about it too much. Jeez, get over it, dude. He's like so fucking heartbroken. Are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna get over it? I'm glad she didn't pick me. No way would I wanna lug that burden around. I hate you, Takudo, shut up. What's with that face? What if you pick him? He, he's gonna be like, why the fuck would you pick me, you fucking idiot? Like, oh man, I thought you were gonna pick me, Amanda. Well, Hero, it was close, but Hero suddenly puts an arm around me. Amanda, do you hate me that much? He looks up at me with big puppy dog eyes. Um, he's such a cutie. Uh, I just met you, so I don't know if I like you or hate you. You're kind of a prude, huh? Ricky, shut up. He's just like teasing me. He's just always teasing me. Ricky suddenly grabs my arm. N no, I'm not. Let's go. Where are we going? You're sleeping on the second floor tonight, huh? And just like that, he starts pulling me by my arm very gently. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. What? I I'm staying here? Yes. Didn't you just listen? I have to watch you. Come on. Oh, what's gonna happen to me? Yeah, I know, right? Mm. He led me to a living space on the second floor of the bar. There's a room with bunk beds and a room adjacent to it with a bed and a sofa. Ricky enters the room with a single bed. What? Here? Am I sleeping in the bed? I'll, I'll hop right in. I will hop right in the bed. <laughs> 
I will so on dive into the bed. Yes, absolutely. I'm totally fine with that. I'm good with that. Oh, I can deal with any lodgings. I get it. There's just not a lot of room. I get it. This is my room. You'll sleep here tonight. I'll sleep in the same room to watch you. I've come this far. I won't run away. Yeah, I'm like playing hard to get. You know, I got to play hard to get a little bit. I don't know that. And if you go to the police now, we'd be in trouble. Listen to me. I fucking hate the police. Okay. I would never run to I've never run to them before and I'm not going to start today. Okay. Listen to me. He grabs both of my shoulders and stares at me evenly. His face is so close. <laughs> I don't trust you yet. And why should you, Ricky? You're absolutely right. But there's a room with two beds in it. The other guys use that room. It's stinky. I don't want you to stay in there. It's stinky. <laughs> what, you're being all defensive just because you don't want to sleep in the same bed? Um, uh, say I don't like it. Just don't deny that you're being defensive. I'm just gonna be like, I'm not being defensive. I'm not being defensive at all. Oh, so you're used to sleeping over at men's houses a lot then? That's not what I meant. It was a joke, idiot. I know just by looking at you, that's not the case. Are <laughs> you calling me ugly? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, Ricky? This guy's mouth is as bad as to kudos. Yeah, he's an asshole, but he's like a playful asshole. You know, he's been nice to me too, whereas Takuto's just been mean. He's like just teasing me, you know? Men were a lot meaner back in the early 2010s. And don't you remember? You don't have a choice in the matter anyway. I think I made a mistake choosing him. I don't think I did. You're off work tomorrow, right? Yes, because someone came and robbed the museum. It's gonna be closed for a while. I can't believe the thief is standing right in front of me. I know, I thought I would never see him again. Haven't you heard the rumor about that painting? Yeah, I confirmed it too. The son of a bitches. They got it from a backroom deal with the mafia. All we do is return works of art to their rightful places. Ricky, I cannot tell you how much I respect that. <laughs> Truly, that is like my dream to be able to do. I am so passionate about doing that and I respect it 1000%. Art doesn't exist to be used for dishonest purposes. Oh, his little smile. It exists to make people happy, to comfort them. You are so correct, Ricky. <laughs> So that's why you guys continue to be thieves, regardless of the risk of being caught by the police. No matter the risk, someone's gotta do it. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you <laughs> so much. <laughs> are the black foxes just like everyone says they are? No, they're better. Are they really stealing for the greater good? What do you think, bitch? Hey, grumpy face. Mm? You're gonna get wrinkles between your eyebrows. Ricky pokes my forehead with his index finger. Don't worry. As soon as we've recovered your great-grandfather's art, you can return to life as normal. And when the mission succeeds, you and I can go back to being complete strangers. Oh yeah, no, that would be great. Complete strangers, huh? Dot, 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 yeah, I know, right? That would be devastating. I would probably die on the spot. You're right, let's hurry up and get Gramps' art back. Why the hell are you yelling all of a sudden? I wanna get back Gramps. Oh my God, see, now, ah, yes, fuck yeah. Oh my god, it did not take her long. Thank god, because I was gonna say if she's gonna be resistant She's gonna be a little fucking bootlicker <laughs> this whole time. I'm gonna die. Thank god I want to get back Graham's pieces of art that were stolen too. I return Ricky's steady gaze. Oh my god Ow. <laughs> And I agree with you art shouldn't be used for this. It should enrich people's hearts heal them You really love art, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's why I wanted to work at a museum Really? Well, and also just to get, oh my fucking God. Because he loves art too. Remember when he was asking me the questions? I'm gonna die. The sparks are fucking flying. The fireworks, I'm telling you, like the sparks, the chemistry, it's just, it's too much to handle. What, he's staring at my face again? Oh my God. When you talk about art, you don't look so grumpy anymore. Oh my God. Ricky stands up and opens the closet. You wanna take a shower? You mean like together? Yeah, if I can. I'm kind of sweaty from being threatened with a gun and everything. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. You, you like threatened my life. Did you mean it? And I like grab him by the bed. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing this. Did you really mean that? I like, I like disarm him and I take his gun. I'm like, who's got the gun now, bitch? <laughs> I'm just Oh, he's just bringing out something bad in me, you guys. I'm sorry. He's bringing this out of me. I'm kind of sweaty. I'm not even going to read the... Yeah, I can't be trusted to read that sentence ever again. Really? Sounds like you had a rough day. He was like there. Yeah, he was there. He's an asshole. Oh, I, but you know what the thing is? It's the difference between him and the other guy. He's so... <laughs> this is like the type of... You know how when I always say like I love when guys are mean to me? This is exactly... <laughs> 
<laughs> what I mean. Exactly what I mean. Not the other guy. Like, that's the kind of shit. You know, there's like a fine line. Very fine line. Like, if you're watching my Pokemon videos, like, I was like, oh, Grusha, he's being mean to me. But he was like very nice too. He's just like sarcastic and like pissy. That's what I like. I don't like the fucking guy who was so mean. He didn't even have a spark of niceness. This guy, oh, he's killing me. He's killing me. He's perfect. He's perfect. <laughs> he's so perfect. And like, I just think that we have so much chemistry. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. You're the one who pointed a gun at me and I like push him or like grab him by his jacket. Sleep in these sweats tonight. What is he, what? Oh, he's giving me some sweat some sweatpants he's giving me some sweatpants and here's a toothbrush and bath towel oh my god thank you oh whoa you even have a toothbrush i can use thank you he is so stuck up and foul-mouthed but he seems considerate and surprisingly good at taking care of people mm-hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really too bad it's really too bad there is no competition whatsoever sorry guys sorry that's the video this is just gonna be my love story between me and ricky i mean from it was love at first sight it was a love at first sight it really was after my shower i returned to the bar to find boss drinking beer on the sofa oh amanda would you like a drink too yeah please thank you i would love a drink i i, I take a drink um what are you reading a fortune telling book <laughs> fortune telling book huh i like fortune telling hey tell me yeah tell my fortune what do you think Think. What do you see in my future? Anything good? Anything juicy? I tell him that I'm a Libra and he flips through the book. Oh, it says love will visit you soon. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. That's not much of a reaction. Don't girls usually get more excited about that sort of thing? Oh, sorry. I'm just like, I'm just freaking out inside internally. I just don't want you to know that I'm that in love with um, your friend already. And I just met him. Believe me, you would think I was very creepy if you knew how much I love him. Since I just joined a group of thieves, love is really the last thing on my mind. Just kidding. It's the first thing actually. Wow. <laughs> sorry, I was gonna read that. <laughs> it just turned into a, me saying, whoa. What about Ricky? What do you mean as a lover? <laughs> Excuse me? Absolutely not. No, I don't say that. I'm Well, I'm trying to play hard to get. Absolutely not. No, no, no. It's obvious just by looking at him that he's popular with the ladies. And he said himself he has no shortage of women. Did, when did he say that? When did he say that? I would have remembered when he's... When did he say that? I'm positive he's a playboy. And I'm sure there's no way he'd be interested in me anyway. Dot, dot, dot. Exactly. I'm just not sure. You don't have to say no right away way he's actually a really good guy great at taking care of others oh my god and that's the kind of man I, I honestly so much i just that's like one of my biggest things i i'm i am baby i'm such a baby i need to be taken care of genuinely i do i act like such a badass and i am a badass i'm a bit of a badass i won't lie but i also am baby and i need to be taken care of by somebody yeah i agree he seems like he can be really thoughtful see why are you trying to set me up and it's not just ricky either all the guys are great um how did you all meet each other we've been friends since we were kids really very sweet i'm back ricky is dozing off on the bed um excuse me but where should i sleep hello wake up i shake ricky's shoulders you're falling asleep in your in your leather jacket let me just take this off for you i like unzip it i'm trying to take care of him mm, no too sleepy what's with that adorable voice mm, his voice is so sweet i can hardly believe it's coming from the same smart mouth as before R ricky but i'm sleepy grab he's suddenly wraps both arms around me <laughs> what should i do push back call his name loudly scream i'll just call his i'll go ricky <laughs> It's no use, he won't wake up. Instead, he hugs me even tighter. I'm scared, wake up, I'm scared. Am I? Ricky slowly opens his eyes. What are you doing? That's what I should ask you. You've got some nerve burying your face in my chest without asking. What? You're the one who hugged me. Stop lying, even if I was half asleep, I would make a move on a woman like you. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna jump out the window and die. I will be jumping out the window now, so then you guys can use my fingerprints on on my dead corpse. Mm -hmm. Hey, not only are you denying it, you're talking bad about me too. Achoo! I just sneezed. Whoa, what the hell was that all of a sudden? I'm sorry, achoo! I wonder why I'm sneezing so much. Ugh, oh well. Come on, give me your bath towel. Ricky uses a towel to dry off my wet hair. Oh my god. He is drying off my wet hair. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is just so overwhelming. Like so much is happening. Why was he so mean to me? <laughs> That was a little too mean, Ricky. Maybe you just caught a chill from leaving your hair wet like that. He touches me gently like a big brother would. <laughs> I don't like that. No, no, no. <laughs> nope, I don't. What is going on here? Yo, his hands are so big. <laughs> You're just like a dog. This is, not going... this is going really badly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just punch after punch. I'm, be I'm being brutalized right now. You're just like a dog. Hey, doggy, be thankful because I don't do this for just anyone. <laughs> I'm like sobbing. <laughs> what do you say, doggy? I hate my life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? Nope, that's not it. Is he going to make me more? This is my karma. <laughs> this is my karma. This is my karma for every time that I was like bark like a dog in all the games that I've played. I've been like, get down and bark like a dog to so many people. <laughs> this is my karma. Yep. The man I love more than anyone I've ever had in a game is gonna make me bark like a dog. Ricky pinches my nose. Why is this happening? He's like, <laughs> this is just like the most like <laughs> humiliating. This has just been a very chaotic last 10 minutes, honestly. Don't be a smart ass dummy. What is wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanna know. <laughs> oh my God. My hair is all messed up. I have no makeup on. I'm wearing guys sweatpants. Yeah, I hate my life. And I'm joking around with a guy I just met. It feels so unbalanced. I'm going to sleep now. Yeah, I'm officially done. Okay, I'll take the sofa so you can sleep in the bed. What? But you're so tall. <laughs> you're so tall. <laughs> Won't you be cramped on the sofa? It's fine, just do as you're told. Okay, yes, yes sir. <laughs> Ricky walks over to the sofa and flops down on it. His legs are hanging off the end of the sofa. I really think I should be the one to sleep on the sofa. Shut up. <gasps> Didn't I tell you? You don't have the right to choose here. Okay, that was really intense. <laughs> Morning already, I smell the aroma of miso soup. I look around the room and Ricky's already gone. I guess he left while I was asleep. I must have been sleeping really deeply. I'm kind of shocked that I was able to sleep so soundly in the same room as a man I just met. I'm sorry, I'm still like reeling after what happened. I don't, what, I, what was that? What was all of that? I. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm just so confused. I'm like disoriented. I guess the smell of miso soup is wafting from the first floor. Jesus, what are you wearing, Kenji? What are you wearing? Morning, good morning. I was up late last night, so I slept here too. Really? Um, where's Ricky? He's at work. Oh man, I'm off duty today, so he asked me to watch you. Off duty? Oh, I'm a firefighter. What? It's not like we're stealing for profit. So we all have day jobs what's Ricky's job? So they really just are stealing for the greater good. A firefighter. Yep, that's why my specialty is breaking in. So what does Ricky do? <laughs> yeah. He's a government official at the Ministry of Finance. <laughs> what? He works for the fucking government. That's my boy right there. That's my man. That's my man right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's a corrupt politician, <laughs> but like, in a good way. Go what? Do you have to be so loud in the morning? Jobless, Takuto, really? <laughs> you don't have a job to go to? Did you sleep here last night too, Takuto? Is that a problem? No, I didn't say that it was. <laughs> Did somebody get up on the wrong side of the bed, Takuto? Oh, hey, you guys want some miso soup? Yeah. Oh, yes, please. Can she dishes out miso soup for each of us? Mmm, it has seaweed and tofu in it. Oh, it's just how I like it. That's exactly how I like it. That's exactly how I love fucking miso soup. Thank you. It looks so delicious. This miso soup is so fucking good. It's the best. The broth is perfect. It's amazing. I love it. You know your stuff. Ricky made it. I can't do this. <laughs> Ricky made the fucking miso soup just the way I like it. That is just, I literally in real life make miso soup like that all the time with fucking seaweed and tofu, bitch. Oh my God. Ricky made the, the soup. Ricky made the soup, you guys. Ricky made the soup. <laughs>
I really thought this was going to be like a one and done video, but I think like we're only on episode one and I think I've already been recording for an hour. I think this is going to be a series and I'm okay with it because I really want to know what happens. He did? He always says he can never wake up in the morning unless he's had miso soup. I say that too. <laughs> So Ricky's a good cook, dot, dot, dot. Ricky seems like he's perfect at everything. I said that out loud, wow. Yep, when we were kids, he had top grades and was always number one in sports. Oh wow, yeah, so he is perfect. He was always complimented no matter what he did. So he was perfect even when he was a kid. Hmm, I guess that's why he's so confident. Only the most elite government officials get to work at the Ministry of Finance. Most of his coworkers graduated from the University of Tokyo. Did Ricky graduate from there as well? Nah, a better school, <laughs> of course. Better than the University of Tokyo? Oh my God, I'm gonna, I, what? He graduated from Cambridge. Okay, what? Oh my God. Am I good enough for him? I went to Harvard. <laughs> Does anybody care? <laughs> huh? Why is Takuto choking? <laughs> I'm like, why are you choking? <laughs> why are you choking? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> are you okay? I pound him on the back. Ow, oops, I guess I hit him harder than I thought. Oh, whoops, whoops. Sorry, I was just trying to save your life. Don't hit me so hard. Sorry, I thought you might have had some tofu lodged in your throat, asshole. Why would I choke on something soft like tofu? You guys are getting along pretty well, huh? What do you mean? I don't think so. Anyway, Cambridge University, huh? <laughs> He's the most successful one among his peers in the whole Ministry of Finance. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I did go to Harvard, by the way, for museum science, for museum studies, for art history, museum science, yeah. Museum uh, curation. Mm -hmm. He's not just a good student, he's good at his job too. Plus he's good looking. No wonder a woman can't leave him alone. And what do you do, Takuto? I just like look him up and down. None of your business. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Even if it's just temporarily, I am a member of the Black Foxes. Takuto's a programmer and here is a student at art college. A programmer, huh? And an art student. Takuto's a genius hacker. <laughs> of course you are. And Hiro has a really sharp eye. A firefighter, a programmer, an art student, and their leader. <laughs> The elite government official from the Ministry of Finance. <laughs> the Black Foxes are so strange. Ugh. You know, I'm feeling like kind of honestly a little insecure about the whole situation with with Ricky, honestly, because like, is he too good for me? No, I'm too good for him, right? Right? Again, I went to Harvard, okay? Harvard University, that's right. What, like it's hard? I had nothing else to do, so I cleaned the second floor from top to bottom. I feel more like a maid than a thief, dot, dot, dot. <gasps> Oh, he's back from the government. <laughs> oh my God. In his suit, oh, suit and tie, what? You're more helpful than I thought you'd be. When did Ricky get here? You scared me. I'm a thief, sneaking in without a sound is my specialty. Anyway, get ready, we're going out. We're going out, where? To dinner. I need to tell you about our next mission. You're taking me to dinner. Okay, I just let me put on like the best outfit I possibly own and this, tons of makeup. It's gonna be like two hours, Ricky, at least. I thought people who work for the government were so busy they stayed up working all night. The other guys work late, but I'm better than them. So I finish up my work quickly. I'm in love with him. I just love a man like that. <laughs> Honestly, I do. I just love it. Hmm, I just felt a chill. Yeah. Is it cold today? Ricky places a hand on my forehead. Are you sure you don't have a slight cold? Oh, now that you mention it, I think I might. Don't give it to me. If someone as important as me gets sick, it'll be a matter of national security. Don't worry, I won't give it to you, asshole. Ugh, you better not. If I catch a cold from an idiot, I might become one too. You know what? You're an asshole, Ricky. <laughs> the fact that my heart raced at the touch of his hand on my forehead, yeah, really does make me feel like an idiot. Yeah, mm hmm Hurry up and get ready uh, okay and this is how my life as a thief under the control of ricky yanase begins <laughs> yep we sit across from each other at a table i am in the sexiest dress imaginable <laughs> ricky seems really alpha male <laughs> oh great <laughs> i hate this get me out of here I'm done, check please. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, that doesn't impress me actually. You just really flopped. Can we talk about the, <laughs> oh my God, I 
killing this. Yes, girl, hell yeah. Can we talk about the plan now? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? Nothing, okay, let's talk. Yeah, he's just never been rebuffed like this before. He has no idea how to handle it. I'm killing it, yeah, I'm just totally killing it. I've never met such a grumpy prude woman with no sex appeal before, fuck you. Suddenly my coworker, Mitsuru, appears before us. Are you on a date? Oh, no, 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 this is not a date. Don't worry, we just had some business. What do you mean, no, no, no? You wouldn't like it if someone thought I was your boyfriend? No, I wouldn't. No, I just don't really like guys like you, Ricky. That guy's in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did invite me to go out for dinner last Christmas. And did you go? Oh my god. He's obsessed with me. Ricky is obsessed with me. That's why he's so mean to me. He's trying to break me down. Yeah, no, Ricky. <laughs> I'm not the fucking one. He just can't stand that there's a girl that finally fucking isn't tripping over him. I'll make you miso soup again tomorrow morning. He is obsessed with me, okay? When I look at somebody and I say I'm gonna make them fall in love with me, I do. Okay, <laughs> that's what Libras do, bitch. What are you doing? <sighs> what a pain in the ass. And I get up in his face, I get right up close to him to kind of like amp up the sexual tension on his end and I go, yeah, Takuda, you're exactly right. I am a pain in the ass. Ricky is gonna die. I thought he said stealing was bad. But this is stealing for the greater good, isn't it? And I like blink up at him. Yeah, he's gonna die. This is the moment he fell in love with me. He liked me before, but now he's in love. Oh my God, I'm playing the game. <laughs> This is how you play the game, bitch. I just, just for fun, just casually for fun, for leisure. <laughs> I am gonna make Takuto fall in love with me as well. <laughs> He's smiling after hearing I like sweets. Is he really a softie? And I'll buy you some. <gasps> Ricky has a business dinner tonight. Won't they make him drink a lot of alcohol? I'm sure they will. He's gonna be drunk. Ricky's gonna be drunk. This is gonna be rich. This is gonna be rich. Oh God, the door swings open. Yeah, a mess, a mess. You're terrible. We have a busy day tomorrow and I get to sleep. Until next time, when I feel better, there won't be a next time. That's a shame. Night. That's a shame. I don't know, but I think Ricky's gonna have some splaining to do <laughs> this morning. Yeah, he's a little simp. He's my little simp. Good boy, Ricky. What does the doggy say? He's like literally so in love with me, you guys. I can't believe it. Now it's time to break into Ozawa's house. Y'all, I'm really doing this. Uh,